Let's see if we can catch a smile at 11 mile today. There's some big trout in this lake and some big pike. Probably be the last time I go fishing this year. We're gonna give it one more try since we had good luck at Taylor. This is a big lake. There's a breeze coming in from my left hand side. I'm trying to block it from out of the microphone so it doesn't sound like crap on YouTube. about 45 degrees the breeze is kind of chilly that breeze makes it feel like about 35 this is nice end of the lake the other end of the lake's real flat where the inlet comes in you gotta walk quite a ways. So we came down to this end of the lake. I just got some bait it's sitting out there right now. Here's my pole over here. Doing some lazy man fishing. Scenery's nice though. I had a boat a few years ago. I used to come down to this lake. There used to be all kinds of fish on the sonar. I latched onto a real big one over there. I got a picture of it, but I didn't make any videos of it back then. We're just sitting right here on the boat dock. They got the boat dock closed, so... And we got the wind at our back right here. Breeze is coming right around this corner here. That's why I threw my pole out over here. Oh, where's that? So we're right here on the boat dock. Right here where it says no fishing from boat dock. That's where I'm fishing at. <laughs> They got this gate closed, there are no boats coming through here. See, no fishing from dock. All the boat safety stuff. It's cold at this lake. It freezes over. A lot of people like ice fishing here. I don't. I'm not one of those people. When it's cold, it takes all the fun out of it. It's kind of chilly today, as a matter of fact. I get enough cold when I'm at work, trying to get my work done in the winter time. That's why I don't go ice fishing. <laughs> pretty deep right here. Goes back. 
back around that way for a little ways. <clears throat> Haven't got any bites yet. I've only been fishing for about half hour probably. Crawdad claw on this. I just pulled this boat dock up out of the water here. And then they locked that gate this time of year. There's kokanee salmon that come through here over by the inlet. There's a bunch of people lined up over there. I don't know if they're getting any or not. It's way back over where we first came in. So on, your, on the boat, you can cruise through the water back over in there. catching any fish. Wanted to use that peanut oil in my fish fryer one more time this year. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. I've been skunked at this lake quite a few times. But when you catch one, they're big. They're usually pretty big. Back when I was younger, I see I was wading out in the water in another part of the lake and this guy next to me he's fishing with the silver spoon he caught a pike like the size of my leg and I was like damn I don't know if I should be standing in this water <laughs> pike, one of that pike is slice you up man slice up your leg pretty good Pike have done that before too, Northern Pike. <clears throat> it's uh, November 4th, 2023. 11 mile reservoir near Fair Play, Colorado. Nice relaxing day. It's better than sitting on the couch, I suppose. Let's zoom over there one more time. Let's see how far. Let's see up in there off to the right. The water goes back further. It's real deep over there. It's like 200. 200 to 250 feet deep. There's a dam back over there. The only way you can see it is from the boat. That's an island right there. The water goes back around to the left that island over there too, right there. It's a pretty big lake.
Alrighty, we have a good day. That's about it.